Hello, my name is Christopher Mitchell, and this is my education metaphor. My metaphor is based on an orchestra playing a piece of classical music. And um, the very first principle is that of Christ is, as, is the base and inspiration. According to Arthur Henry King, traditionally art and morality both spring from religion. Since, uh, so since school is a place to learn social morality, it seems well to compare the different parts of the education to an orchestra. As such, Christ is represented by a piece of classical music. Proper and beautiful playing of this music is the goal of each of the musicians, players, and conductor included. Um, if anyone doesn't focus on the meaning, feel, and message of the, the music, then the performance will not be as good. Now, the next doctrine is that of identity. In an orchestra, it is very important that each musician knows his or her own abilities, strengths, limitations, and passions. When they know this, they can make a stronger, more confident contribution to the performance. Um, and as such, school is a place for students to discover who they are and what they are passionate about. Um, then that leads to the doctrine of eternal progression, because once musicians know who they are as musicians, then they can begin to improve. Here, the conductor inspires the musicians during rehearsals by helping them see his vision of the finished production. Yet, he also asks the musicians their opinion on how certain parts should be played. For example, faster or slower, louder or softer, etc. Through all of this, the conductor places greater demands on the musicians, thus calling them the greater heights. Um, in this doctrine, there are several principles, the first of which being the divine potential. And with this, out, I need to help the students understand that they are the world's future. Also, the students' growth here is the goal. And this includes helping the students form good study and life habits. Um, last, uh, last of these principles is that only they'll only give my strength when the student is unable to give his or her own strength. Um, the next doctrine is that of personal responsibility. Um, not everything can or should be learned and perf and perfected in rehearsal. For a musician to reach his potential, he must practice outside of these rehearsals. This includes doing more than practicing the current song. He must also work on learning scales, music theory, and personal endurance while playing. All of these different areas of practice must come from the musician's self-assessment. Um, and so this leads to a very good principle, that of inquisition. And that's that the only way a student is going to truly learn is when they have their own question that they greatly desire to know. And in order to gain, uh, understand these questions, they must put in hard work and practice because that helps the student to grow faster. And they also need to take responsibility for their own actions and their own learning. Um, and lastly, uh, we have the doctrine of equality. Because in an orchestra, everyone has their own role to play. Each instrument has its own sound that contributes to the whole beauty of the production. Yet no instrument is in it Itself more important than any other. Also, just as the orchestra without the conductor is unorganized, so is the conductor without the orchestra pointless. Both need each other to function properly. While playing, it is crucial to hear and know all of the other parts. If you don't know who has the melody, then you're bound to cover it up with your less important part. And this leads to a couple of very, very important principles, that of teacher-student equality, as well as racial and gender equality. With all these principles and doctrines to combined together, the orchestra will be able to, to play well and perform the beautiful music, and all will be able to grow and be edified from it. And as my metaphor, thanks for watching.